Welcome back everyone. Let's play Rule the Waves as the United States episode number 22. Sorry, I have to adjust the recording. Um, and a funny thing about this battle that we're in the middle of, we have this bombardment target which I wasn't... I'm, I'm not sure I'm even able to hit. I'm pretty sure I'm not able to hit it as it is exactly in the middle of this circle. You know, over here I could hit it. Over here I could hit it. Probably even here I could hit it. But this is the exact middle and it is, well, I mean, what, like 5%, 3% of the way. <laughs> okay, the other thing is right now we can't see any of the ships. I'm gonna have to go one uh, minute because just the way the game loads, it doesn't load with any of the ships being spotted. Um, I'm gonna say yes because you're they're limiting flooding and wait a second. Am I crazy? I thought that we had detected the fleet. Am I crazy? What? Did something, like, bad happen? Oh, what happened? Okay, let's just take a look at the wasps range. Yep, it's impossible. Like, if this was here, if it was here, any and anywhere on this island, it, it would be too far. So, we won't be able to hit the bombardment target. I guess the enemy ships that we were looking for went back in. I thought we were up against some battle cruisers and stuff. Are you now saying? Okay, Enterprise side and unknown ship. There we go. I think this is the the big deal. Thirteen inch guns. They are quality zero. Not ideal. Okay, there we're, we're starting to see better things. Now, there is this risk, this continued risk, that we run into minesweepers. I mean, uh, mines here. Oh, boy. <laughs> AB. Yeah, that's not what I want. Okay, let's, let's risk it. Supposedly, that's a battle cruiser. I would love to lure them out. Because I'm, I'm not going to be able to use anything right now. So let's take you off AI control. Put you down to 9 and just send you home. If you are, in fact, controlled, yes, kind of. Where's the nearest port? Damn it. I think you're going to sink. The flooding of 2, that's a bad, bad, bad situation. So we are engaging the battle cruiser. I think. What is it? What is it that we're up against here? Thirteen-inch guns. You know what? We tend to nine and a half. What do we have? Ten to nine and a half. We should just. We should win. We should win this. Let's engage. Now they've hit us. We have not hit them. If the wasp can get over here, she only has thirteen-inch guns as well. Ah. Hmm. This is a rather tough engagement. I think we could lure her out if we had just the wasp by itself and we fainted back. I'm not sure. Oh, Konigsberg class. Does that mean light cruiser? It does, yeah. And not a very good one either. So we might have already scared them back to port. I think what we're going to do is just retreat back. I mean, there's just no point. I, I want to win this one because this is the naval invasion one as if I remember correctly, but I mean, we can't, we don't want to lose more and more and more uh, points just trying to catch up with the points we lost from the torpedo hit, which was a bunch of malarkey. No, I mean, it's actually, I, I think it's pretty normal or expected that you, that could happen. 
get the wasp. I, I just really wish that... First of all, I wish controlling all these ships was a little bit easier. But second of all, I really wish that they would leave uh, this area. And now we're actually firing at the Mackensen. Now, did we lose all our speed in that? Our speed is 15. Wow. It's not great. Turret jammed. I think we're just going to leave. Ugh. It's frustrating. Really frustrating, but I don't see how... What are you? Come back here, Sullivan. I don't see how we're going to be able to get them to do anything. Uh, oh, maybe the one situation we could do is actually lure them out with a light cruiser. General Custer. Yeah, yeah, like this. This might be the way it could work. Let's get all these ships to kind of like hover over here and use these light cruisers as bait, maybe. I don't think they'll fall for it, but we don't have much choice other than to try. Okay, Lake Erie. Wait, Lake Erie. Lake Erie? Enemy aircraft. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. It happens very rarely. That's only happened like four times in my entire probably thousand hours of playing this game. It does not happen very often, but every now and then you get those reports of enemy aircraft, which is pretty neat. Oh, the, she limited flooding. Okay, that might be down to zero. It's down to one. Okay, let's take her down to seven and be extra cautious and just see if she makes it. Maybe she does. Get you guys to kind of rotate back down. This is annoying. Okay. Climate Falls, sights the ship. This is good. When she's close enough, we might be able to engage. We'll go for it. Yeah, she'll barely be in range for a little bit of time. We will return upwards with all our other ships. Might as well take you down to 22 so I don't have to turn you guys around so much. Are you guys going to be able to hit it? I mean, you're in range, but will you actually be able to hit it? Really is the question. Let me just go down to 21. Just make everything nice and easy for me. Uh, 21. Okay. Firing, firing, missing, missing, missing. Okay. Well, maybe they saw us and are going to send out the battle cruisers now. No visibility now. Well, fine. Uh, whatever. Just speed away. I don't even care what happens now. <sighs> so frustrating. Okay, let's get the battle division, I guess. No, let's get the battle cruiser division to head back. Why not? Tempt fate one last time. Yeah. Oh. Um. Wow. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Oh, she <laughs> two, and German marginal victory, of course. Well, that's not going to be not very helpful. Um, and now when it goes to the next screen, let me make sure that we have this uh, this window up. Because then everything's going to fall apart. The window's going to get really small. I'm going to have to resize it, which is going to be annoying for you guys. But Okay, so we sank a minesweeper to whatever's. We didn't do anything. I, uh, damn it. Damn, damn it, damn it, damn it. Close. So we can just maybe just deal with this smaller window for a little bit. Maybe I can make it a little bit bigger. Uh, da, 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 da. This is literally, you guys are now, we 
behind the scenes on how I have to do this every time. Kind of annoying. Something like that. All right, well, got a whole bunch of obsolete Galvestons on the West Coast. I don't know. So the person who suggested the destroyers, the invaders, to uh, cause the invasions actually suggested that we only keep this type of ship. I think it was the same person, but it might have been someone else. I think it was a good suggestion, though, to keep only the invader class in a C zone. And then you know if you have that C zone, since you only have that destroyer there, you should not choose to accept that battle. Now, we've already triggered the invasion, so our hope is that we get a victory. So I'm going to, let's just double check, we have 125 to 20. Now, removing a lot of these ships might take us below that 4 to 1 level. The invasion has already begun, but I'm not sure it just has to stay there. Removing 40 points is probably enough. Yeah, oh, it's just actually barely, it's going to be like 1 point. So what I mean, it's gonna be like one point to few, too few to be three to one odds. I think three to one is the odds. So we'll move most of these ships to Northeast Asia. We'll keep a few, and then uh, eventually we'll move all of them to Northeast Asia. But we need some. Basically, we need to swap some of the ships out from Northeast Asia, which actually is quite okay. The, the Benny, actually, this is a great move. Let's just do a complete swap then. Southeast Asia for you guys. And all the ones who we'll get we'll get all these. Move them all. Yeah, and we have a few of these, but we'll move them as well. Okay, we'll see how that works out. Okay, now we don't have any bad destroyers. These are all good battle support. Please don't be coastal raid. Uh, no. If you made me, you gotta be, you gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> Come on, this is ridiculous. All right, what support forces do we have? Some light cruisers, nothing. Ah, damn. It. Okay, fine. Well, let's get this over with. Um, what? Somebody's engaging or something. Because, hey, stop it. We just went from normal to heaps two. What the heck? Okay, well, good luck to us. We're gonna go in anyway. Maybe the minefields are randomized. That would be very unfortunate for us. This is just the worst situation. The coast is so small. How are we how are we gonna find anything here? Oh, found there was something up here last. Ported. Yep. Well, good thing we only have three hundred more minutes of this. Hooray, game, yay, thank you. So fun. They didn't have any ships here anyway. Oh, it was a minor victory, okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Where are the ships, just so we know? Yeah, there was one just down here. And was there any over here? No. Okay, kind of a waste of time. Not just kind of, but I'm being generous. Let's try this again. What? Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Our destroyers are so light that even though we have, you know, like 30 of them, 40 of them, how many, well, we can look. We have 58, they can't make 12,000 tons. <laughs> 
Okay, we can we can deal with this. We'll just throw I don't even know. Two Grand Rapids in. We'll put them on. Unfortunately, we'll have to do this. Put them on Horn Station. Move them. There it is. And then next turn. Ooh, decent ship. If that's quality one, six inch guns, those are, ah, this is a great ship. That's a really good ship. 18 inch guns, wow. Holy cow. Of course, of course it's a convoy attack. And the only thing they offer me, it's just, it's random. I, I can't sit here and think that the game engine is programmed to specifically take advantage of a player's weakness. It must be random, these battles. But I have to sit here and tell you that it doesn't feel random when <laughs> the only battle it picks out of you know several locations it probably could. Do they have any ships here? Yeah, they do. So, you know, there's what? Uh, okay, there's one there. Let's just call it three locations. Because that's one AMC is not really much. Um, let's just pretend there's three locations. Yeah. Always seems to pick the one with the... This is where we should be getting the battles in support of the fleet. But, hey, those are all just coastal raids, which are terrible. So, it's not like we can win that way. Okay, we did it anyway. We overcame despite the odds. Now that is a pretty good dreadnought. The Germans always building pretty pretty considerable armor. <clears throat> Middle turret there, not now that I'm looking at it closely, not uh, not a really good thing. Motor torpedo boats, we won't be using those. Not until Kennedy enters the war some twenty years from now. An enemy submarine has torpedoed and sunk our destroyer. Darn. Okay, the Galveston is a bit antiquated. She's not bad though. Okay, we'll see what we have here. Let's go Max. Oops. Let's go after it. Might be an AMC. If I didn't get the line just right, then we just won't find it. Hooray! San Francisco. Would have been fun to fight that, but the AI did, I think, probably the right thing to retreat. Mm -hmm. Convoy defense. This is strange. I knew that they wouldn't be able to muster enough shit. I just had this feeling that they wouldn't accept the battle. I wasn't sure this would happen, actually. I thought they would decline. So I took the free victory points. Actually, it was a pretty risky, I mean, we're over 3,000 ahead. I should be playing a little more cautious. If that was a real dreadnought, we would have a hard time with only light cruisers. Especially these light cruisers, yeah, they only have submerged torpedoes. So we don't even stand a good chance against them. Um, when it comes down to launching torpedoes, we can't go fast enough to close quickly and launch. So, well, we have one holding. We are 103 to 33, that is technically over three to one. I would love to get a real battle here. I think we sortie, we, we got a sortie again. Oh, well, I shouldn't have done this, but I did. <laughs> uh, we, I wanted to sortie back to uh, Northern Europe. 
but I didn't. Okay, this is bad because I don't think they have light cruisers. I think they only have battle cruisers and armored cruisers. We have Pearl Harbor right in front of us though, so we'll just try to drive them through a minefield. The fact that they're pursuing means it's gotta be a battle cruiser behind it. I mean, look, they're just barely staying. Oh, well, <laughs> I was gonna say just barely staying out of range, but they are allowing us in. Are we really hitting them this many times? Because that's impressive. We should be doing more damage, actually. That's a lot of hits. So let's call it four six inch gun hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six six inch gun hits. It's pretty darn good. How the heck are you still plowing along, mister? I am, I'm surprised this guy's gonna get away. After taking all those hits. Jeez. Can't buy myself a, a sunk ship here. And if they were for sale, we'd be able to buy them because we're playing as the US. Ah, oh, heavy damage. Let's see. Was it close to sinking? No. Just want to take a look at this. We destroyed their turret. Okay, there were a couple. Three near misses. Four near. Five near misses. My god. Sheesh. That's a lot of unlucky hits. Yes, yeah, so we only ended up hitting them with three. Ah, there's a lot of near misses. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess if you don't actually hit. Yeah, you're not going to sink uh, a destroyer. All right, let's do this sortie back. Let's do it. Let's go big. Let's leave two. Um, what else are we leaving in on the East Coast? Oh, the, the New Havens, I guess, because <laughs> they're obsolete. <laughs> Take some Cunninghams, all of them. All right, let's move this entire thing to Europe for a turn. Do some blockading, you know, see if we can ruffle some feathers there, and then we'll move them back. This keeps up long enough, we're actually going to get our battle cruisers in. That was really good. No! I want to fight the other place. Okay, fine. I mean, we don't have a choice, right? So. Now this is a good ship, smart, our eight inch light cruisers, but still wish it was something in Northern Europe. Okay, the fact that we didn't spot them until this close means I'm assuming it's not a battle cruiser. So let's go ahead and start exchanging fire. We should be hitting. Come on, boys, get that range. We'll just go ahead and pursue. Okay. So what do they have? They have like one gun chase. Yeah, because that one's not super firing somehow. 
So we have two guns at eight inches versus their one gun at six inches. So yeah, we'll do this. We'll play this game. We're slowly closing. I don't know why we're firing one gun. Okay, there's a hit, another hit. Couple more hits. We're chasing them down. I kind of like to imagine this like in a, a real situation. Pause, my God. <laughs> okay, so we have disabled one of their guns. How's our ammunition looking? I just want to kind of figure out how we're doing here. Okay, yeah, so we're still doing okay. This, this ship must have a ton of ammunition. Really driving home on her. As soon as the broadside opens up as well, we're gonna have eh, only five four inch guns. Okay, our turret is now jammed. The good news is we're close enough that even the most horrible visibility conditions are going to allow us to see our prey, our target. We'll wait for that gun to unjam. It's back in action. Here we go. They're firing their two medium guns now. still just pelting away with those 8 inch. Another 8 inch, another 8 inch. Could be torpedo prey if we're not careful. Our broadside opens up for the first time. We score three hits. No, two hits and one 4 inch. Another good one, one 8 inch and two 4 inches. We need to cut back. We're we're, it's basically a knife fight. I do not want to get too close torpedo wise. We are launching torpedoes. Let's assume that they can do the same. Oh, a narrow little dodge there at the very end. 50% main ammo. I mean, we're still clocking this thing. There we go. I guess that she, we just wore her down and probably she had to flee at top speed, tried to. Didn't work out for her because, uh, you know, maybe any of those hits which cause flooding and then you have to keep running at top speed just really exa exacerbates the problem. Well, this was not a very exciting episode. I was really, really hoping for a fleet battle. I guess we can try one more click, risky click of our luck. Let's see what happens. That is not lucky. Oh! Okay, well, I almost, oh man, what a tease. You gotta be kidding me. I put an entire battle fleet, and this is where I really hope Rule the Waves 2 allows you to customize your order of battle. So we only have to sink one ship. It's midday. Hopefully we can get in, hit something, get out. Hopefully this is not a battle cruiser. No. So let's hold fire for ten minutes. Get close. Hopefully they just abandon ship. Okay, wait another ten minutes. I think she's already going down. Let's just make sure. Good. That's our one thing. Yeah, let's actually do it because uh, we'll get a few extra victory points. 
might be worth actually having those. And I'm going to kind of explore with the Chickamauga. Ooh, it's coastal fortification. Do not want to engage that. We probably would be best just to get out because if we take damage, we don't have a friendly port to save us. But I'm going to hunt this down anyways. Minesweeper. Probably not even a strategic ship. I think we can still get her before she takes the port. Yeah, it's patrol boat class, so this is not a strategic entity. Okay, fine, fair enough. And it's getting to be nighttime anyways, we'll just leave. Did our work. Uh, I'm not sure if we would really want to go this far into the Baltic. Doesn't seem to be any reason why you'd put a fleet here. But uh, yeah, well. <laughs> It happened somehow. I gotta tell you, if I'm Admiral, I do not tell my fleet to move into the Baltic. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. <laughs> you probably face some batteries or at least German patrols. The, the reconnaissance is completely against you. <laughs> All around Denmark. So a minor victory, but... Uh, yeah. Again, I, I can't force the game to give me a battle. And look at this. We're going to have to move back now. We've got a bunch of ships complaining. Very unfortunate. Okay, so I'll just grab these. I'll move them back. And uh, then we'll be... What happened? Why are you... Huh. Some of them chose not to come. Mutiny. Yeah, anyways, we'll be back next episode. Hopefully we'll... Maybe get one big fleet f fleet battle. We still haven't really got one. We've had our battle cruisers in a few battles. That's at least something, but it would be better, I guess, for everyone. For my victory points, for the entertainment, if we could force a fleet battle. So, we'll see if that happens. Until then, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.